video, I know, um, but I want to make a video on, on a bit of a, on a bit of a, uh, missing topic, but, um, the Las Vegas shooting, which happened, like, a week ago, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, I kind of want to talk about, um, it, because it really, uh, it really makes me think about something, which I've kind of been dying to say for a while, and, and, yeah, I'm a horrible person. I'm taking the death of, with and injuries of 600 people before they finally say something. I'm such a great person. Okay, I was joking. But anyway, so, I think this shooting where over 500 people were injured and over 50 people died, the worst attack in U.S. history on U.S. soils, the worst gun attack, if you will, um, it really makes me think that, excuse me, um, that it just, it's just kind of proof that neither side, left nor right, is right when it comes to gun control. I see the pun. Um, because, well, when it comes to the right, we can't just hand out literally any Joe down the street a gun, because... It's obvious that if, like, we gotta give them tests before they can get themselves a, a BMW or an AK-47 or, or a shotgun or whatever. But, but before they, because they could actually do some harm if they're not very good. Excuse me. Um... But nor is left right because the raving SJWs views that are that are some of the minds on the field of the left. Um, it that they're like, we got to get rid of all guns. We got to put all guns and burn them. No, that that would just be horrible because what if an even worse shooting happened? How could how could we stop the man or woman in committing it? It. So both sides are wrong. I think we need a nice even balance. We need one people can still have access to guns, but they also but we all but gun stores and ammo stores and army stores they can't just hand out a gun to any old Joe walking by. Um, yeah, I thought this was a very I I really wanted to make this video. Because I think it was extremely important to make. Now, bye.